Panel Impact Ratio. What is it, and why do you need to know it? Hi, this is Ivan Croy, and this is the Detailers Business Academy, where we strive to take you from detailer to entrepreneur. Now, Panel Impact Ratio is something that's been going around in the groups and on the internet for a little while now, and I often get the question, what is Panel Impact Ratio? Well, Panel Impact Ratio is sort of a convoluted calculation to make you think you're not using as much soap as you are. So, let's get into it. Panel Impact Ratio is for those of you using a foam cannon. As you know, I'm not necessarily the biggest fan of foam cannons, but they do have their place in certain cases. Now, how do you calculate panel impact ratio? It's very simple. Instead of putting soap in your foam cannon, you put water. Then you hook it up to your pressure washer, set it as you normally would, and then spray it into a bucket. Measure the amount that comes out until your soap container, which now just has water, is empty. And on average, for most foam cannons, it's around 10 quarts but we'll make this calculation just a little easier. We'll do it in metric, which is 10 liters. Close enough. Now, a lot of companies say they need a panel impact ratio of 4% or 5%. Well, let's go with 4%. 4% of 10 liters is 400 milliliters. 400 milliliters. In that thing of soap in your foam cannon, you're putting in 400 milliliters of soap and 600 milliliters of water. That's a lot of soap. But they have you thinking, hey, it's only 4%. That's not a lot of soap. Well, yes, it is. So what does this all mean for you, the professional detailer? It means that the company that's telling you you need 4, 5, 6% of panel impact ratio is basically saying, hey, that's a lot of soap. But if we disguise it as this really convoluted calculation, then they'll take it. And some people have and are running with it. So that being said, if you really need to use 12 ounces of soap in your 32 ounce foam cannon, there might be a problem there. If you have any questions, comments, thoughts, or ideas, please leave them below. Always have an answer, and we'll see you in the next one.